could always cook you some up. You're too good to be wasted in the kitchen. You know, you're going to be grateful of a few uncooked meals if we're going to get married. But I'm not marrying you for your kitchen skills. Oh, no. Not then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just pour the coffee. Oh. Just this once, then. So you're going to tell me, or what? No. Well, come on, there's no way you could have afforded that meal last night. I did, didn't I? Yeah, and I want to know where you got the cash from. I work for it. Doing what? You're just not. Because your little plan to show me up in front of Katie didn't work. What plan? You know what I'm talking about. I think I was born yesterday. Well, that was just a laugh, that's all. Yeah, well, the laugh's on you, innit? Great meal. <laughs> Great company. Well, apart from yourself, of course. I could have done without that. So he's taking you out? Well, tomorrow night. But I thought he'd lost his job. But he's got a new one, hasn't he? And that's what we're celebrating. Did you hear that, Donna? Me and Bob are off out tomorrow night. What time? About seven. But don't wait up for us, cos we'll be burning the midnight oil. Go on. Off you go. Get your bus. Don't want you to miss it. I hope they don't keep me waiting too long, love. Ah, me and all. I'm sick of seeing that hospital. Well, he did say it should be your last time for a while, so fingers crossed, eh? Ah, well, you just make sure you've got your cosy packed. Cos if it's thumbs up on this thing, it's you and me off on holiday. You just get that green light. That's more important to me than any holiday. I am serious, love. I want to make up for all you've been through over this thing. I've been through now, compared with you. Dad. Dad. Well, what do you want, son? I'm just off to hospital. I need a word. Well, can't you wait? I'm in a bit of a rush. No, it can't. It's important. <sighs> oh, come on, then. Hurry up. But it's about Kane. Mm. Oh, come on, then. What about Kane? Yeah, well... It, it, it's, it's just that... Me and Kane... What he's trying to say is... We both wanted to wish you luck. Isn't that right, Sam? Aye, that's yeah. right. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm touched. <laughs> but I'll have to get going. Uh, I'll be back about 12, OK, I hope. Well, well good luck, love. And, uh, like I say, just you get that green light and we'll be away. Mark say anything about me? Should he have? I just wondered. Oh, I haven't been seen him, have I? Well, maybe I'll go see you later. What do you think? What are you asking me for? and play hard to get. Hey, you're too keen. You don't just give guys all they want if you want to keep them interested. Like I said, just play hard to get. You're up bright and early. Oh, is there a charity up at home found, you know? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been up there yet. Well, she's stopping back to the B&B. I suppose she's accepted Chris's offer. She shouldn't be that stupid. Oh, he can be very persuasive, can Chris, if he wants something. I wonder what my little sister will make of all this when she gets back. Do you even care? Depends. On what? Look, I'm not going to change my mind about marrying you, but I really do have to know if there's anything between you and Zoe. Chris, what have I said? I know what you've said, but please indulge me. I swear, there was nothing between us. So you've got no worries about her coming back and finding out about us? Why should I? We're getting married. She'll have to learn to live with it. Do you fancy a little celebration? Oh, what now? No, I mean tonight. I thought I might invite a couple of people around for dinner. Mark our engagement. Like who? Rodney and Louise. Oh, I'd rather have Scott and Chloe. There's plenty of time for them. I wanted a nice... Sophisticated evening, if that's all right with you. They are my mates. I know, and we'll have them round sometime, but not tonight, OK? No, that's the whole benefit. Yes. Is that OK? Great. <laughs> Thanks very much. OK, bye. Well, at least all three churches are covered whilst I'm away. But I do still worry about you being on your own. There's no need. I'd be much happier if you were to stay here. Ashley, the wool pack is not my home. 
And anyway, Mum's going to be on holiday. Yes, I know that, but... Look, there's no way I'm going to get peace and quiet above a busy pub, is there? I suppose you're right. But it still doesn't stop me worrying. Look, I'll be fine. Go on your retreat and you stop worrying. It's not as if I'm going to give birth in the middle of the desert, is it? If I need help, people are only a phone call away. Emily, Black Olives. We've only green left. We've got some coming in tomorrow. Well, I need it for tonight. Sorry. Oh, I'm not doing very well, am I? Well, we're a village shop, not a delicatessen. Right, well, I'll just take those then. How much do we owe you? That's five pounds, please. Oh, I've only got 20. Well, I'll do. take that. What's this then? Oh, yeah. Is that what I think it is? Look, Emily, an engagement ring. So he's actually asked you to marry him, has he? Afraid so, yeah. Chris, who else? Interesting. Look, if you've got something to say, spit it out. Yes, you two should have a very serious conversation. I'm sure Cathy can give you a few tips. Oh, I don't think so. From what I've heard, her attempt wasn't very successful. He's not the easiest of men, you know. Well, I wouldn't be marrying him if he was. Well, I hope you have more luck than I did. You get out what you put in, Cathy. It's not to do with luck. <laughs> Charity! Look, Emily, if you can have a go, don't bother. I'm wondering if you were going to tell Zach. Oh. <sighs> think it's any of his business, do you? I think he'd like to know, and it, it's better if it comes from you. Right, well, if it's any of your business, I'm going up there now on my way into Otten. Oh, he'll be in hospital this morning. It, it won't be until midday. Right, well, I'll go on my way back then. Just so you know. Anything else? Yes. I, I know it's none of my business, but just so you're aware, I don't approve of you marrying a tit. Oh, why didn't that surprise me, Emily? But I hope you'll be very happy. She said yes. That's right. Great. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. So you approve? Well, I hope you'll both be very happy. And if there's about what I can do. Well, actually, yeah, there is. You know that car I bought her? What, the little sporty job? Yeah, the one she sold. Yeah. How difficult would it be, do you think, to trace it? I don't know. I suppose if you had the registration number, they'd be somewhere. And you could do that? Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll just ask Charity what the number was. No, don't do that. I don't want her to know anything about it. I'll find it out and let you know. I just want you to trace it and buy it. <laughs> buy it? Yeah. Sort of surprise engagement present. Oh. Nice one. Oh, in the meantime, you can search out Rodney and ask him if he and the lovely Louise would like to join Charity and myself for dinner here tonight. No problem. Oh, well... Uh... I take it you've told Zoe about your engagement? Not yet, no. Are you all right? Come on. You're just in time for your dinner. All right, Dad. All right, son. How'd you go on? I don't have to go back for three months. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> hey, not half as pleased as I am. Oh. So, it's bags packed. And away to all of the pair of us. Ooh, as soon as you like. <laughs> Charity? Zack? Hey, you must be psychic. Hey? Come in here now. We've just had the good news. What good news? The hospital. Zack's only got to go back once every three months, so we're off on holiday. Oh, I'm really happy for you, Zack. Honest, I am. Oh, don't just stand there like you know to do with anybody. Get yourself inside. We're going to crack open a bottle. <laughs> well, hang on, and before you do, there's something I think you ought to know. Well, it'll wait till we get inside, surely. I don't think so, Lisa. When you hear what I've got to say, you might not want me inside. A dingle marrying a tit? I won't have it! Don't get yourself in such a stew, Zack! Who do you mean a stew? Are you happy with it? No, I'm not, but it's Charity's business who she marries and not ours. And anyway, at least she had the guts to come here and tell us herself. Well, I hope it's the money you're after. I mean, I, I could just about forgive you if it's the money. Yeah, well, well, I like the money, yeah. I knew it. But I'm not marrying him just because he's rich. I'm doing it because I want to. He's good to me, Zach. 
He loves me. <laughs> loves you? He does! Well, I'm still marrying him. Oh, yeah, go ahead. But make sure you spend the money now, eh? Because he can spend, can that one, and he can gamble. And where will you be when it's all gone? I think I better go. You'll be paying for the good times, that's what you'll be doing. There'll be no left for maids and nannies then. It'll be you, him, and that kid to bring up. Yeah, well, I'm just going to have to take that chance. Well, you're a fool, then. Oh, so suddenly you're the expert on life, are you? Well, tell me this, then. What's so good about the way you live? Always scratting around to make a few bob. Always waiting to pull the big one off that never happens. Well, it's happened to me, Uncle Zach. The big one. I'm not going to let it pass me by. Yeah, father shouting. Great, lovely. Uh, thanks for coming. I appreciate your opinion. I'm sure you would have ordered it anyway. Rodney, Louise. Oh, Terry, you like my new gaff? Well, you bought this? Yeah, almost signed and sealed. Oh, cause for celebration then? Well, I like to think so. <laughs> that makes two of you. Oh? Chris is having a celebration tonight, special occasion. Don't quiz me for details, because I'm sworn to secrecy. What say I pick you up the woolly about half six? Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, otherwise. Engaged? You haven't. Why well, are you going to congratulate me? You actually accepted. We well, haven't had a better offer all year. Oh, come on, you can at least show a bit of enthusiasm. Well, can you remember what you said last night? So, we had a few doubts. Slept on them. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Is that right, or is it just another of your vicious rumours? I object to that, Betty Eggleton. Especially coming from you. Anyway, if you don't believe me, ask Emily. She was here. I'm afraid it is true. D did she say anything about Zoe? Well, why should she? It's him she's marrying, not her. Well, it just seems a bit odd she didn't mention anything to me before she went. It's only just happened, as far as I can make out. So it, it doesn't look like Zoe knows anything? No, and I'll tell you something to know. I wouldn't like to be around when she does find out. Hey, Terry! You true about Chris and Charity getting engaged? Hey, hey, keep your voice down. I think it's still supposed to be a secret. Well, does Zoe know? Well, not unless Chris has told her, and I hardly think that's likely. Well, do you not think somebody ought to tell her? Well, I'm not gonna, if that's what you're after. Mind, it's gonna look a bit bad if she walks into that meal tonight and she's the only one in the village who doesn't know. I might have known it'd be halfway round the village by lunchtime. Yes, well, you've charity to thank for that. She wasn't exactly hiding the ring. It was never meant to be a secret. But I'm pleased that you felt comfortable to come over here and offer your congratulations. Uh, that's not why I'm here. Oh, please, no words of wisdom. I don't think I could bear it. Look, despite everything that's happened between us, there's part of me that still does care about you. I'm touched. And I'd hate to see you throwing yourself into something you might regret. You think I will? Is she really the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with? Well, no one can ever be sure of that, can they? I once thought we'd make a go of it. What if she wants kids? I'm sure we'll find a way around that. Wonderful things happen with modern technology. Look, Chris, live with her, OK? Have fun with her if that's what you want, but you really don't have to marry her. But I want to. That's what you don't understand, isn't it? I want to, so I will. So thank you for your concern. It was very sweet, but I have things to do. OK, it's your life. Precisely which is why I'd rather have people keeping their noses out of it. So, who's going in for them, then? There's no point. They're not going to serve us. Nobody's got any dash anyway. Oh, Andy's flush with me, Katie. You can get up to sell us any, I'll pay. Mark! Don't sit on the tables, all right? Sorry. Hey, Mark, could you get us some drinks? Joking, are you? Say, I told you he wouldn't get us any. Yeah, but he might for me, though, eh, hey, Mark? Are you something special? Look, will you just keep it down, all right? Ooh. Get you. Yeah, and if anybody wants to use these benches, you clear off them, all right? 
Come back. Look, I'm busy. So you Who's making all that noise out there? Look, I've told them to shift if anyone comes. Yeah, well, let's just hope they do. Any news of Nicola, Rodney? Yeah, she's having a great time. Just what she needed after all the recent upsets some people have caused, huh? So when's she back? Should be about another week, shouldn't it, Rodney? That was a bit cruel, wasn't it? Huh? No less than he deserved. Hey, I've got a bit of news for you. Oh? I'm moving away. What? <laughs> Only down the street, Mill Cottage. Yeah, I put a bit in today. I think we've clinched it. We? You two about ready, then? Yeah, we will be as soon as we finish these. Do you want a pint while you're waiting? Oh, best not. No, I don't think Chris would thank me for pranging his car on the way to the do. This wouldn't be the engagement do by any chance? Engagement do? Hey, you mean you've been invited? You're the only one in the village that didn't know him and Charity were engaged. Well, of course I know. Only unlike you two, I don't go around gossiping about things. Look, I'll sort it. Well, just tell him to hop it, OK? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> right, you, off there. What do you think you're playing at? Keep your hair on. Yeah, well, it's getting me a bad name in there, so can you all clear off before I lose my job? Because the constable moving us on. <laughs> oh, come on, don't give him an hard time. Yeah, well, he needs to chill out a bit. Oh, come on, Ollie. Oh, he's so masterful, aren't you, Matt? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I mean it. I'm really impressed. Oh, please, come on, Eve. <laughs> The house is free tomorrow night if you want to come round. Did I hear that right? Donna's having a party, everyone. Oh. Oh. Yeah, tomorrow night, everyone's welcome. Oh, yeah. All right, Donna. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I'll see you there, Mark. <laughs> Congratulations. It's fantastic news. Yeah, well done, you two. And thanks for inviting us. <laughs> yes, we feel very privileged. Unless, of course, you've got a busload arriving in the next five minutes. No, this is strictly <laughs> exclusive, and you look terrific. Oh, well, thank you, kind sir. And this is palatial. I'd had no idea. <laughs> I'll show you around if you like. I'd love to, thanks. Yeah, come on, then, while the men are up in the champagne. Mm. Yeah, well, I say they deserve each other. Maybe you're right. It could all work out for the best if you think about it seriously. How do you mean? Well, we could all profit from it one day. Not see how. Yeah, because you're thick. OK, and that's enough. I'm disappointed in our charity. I bet she's really worried about that. Look, I do not want all this bickering at my table, so just cut it out! How do you mean we could profit by it? <sighs> right, if he joshes it, yeah? She inherits, right? So? So, man in his state and she's family won't let her forget that. Look, mm -hmm. can we just please change the subject? I do not want all this charity business spoiling my day. It's taken a long time to get your dad back on his feet again. And now that he is, we should be celebrating. Ah, you're right. Sam, go and get a few more cans. What would I do without you? Uh, this is uh, a real marriage, right? This is what marriage is all about. Oh, it's lovely, Charity. It's got real atmosphere. Yeah, it's uh, a bit different from what I've been used to. Ah, oh, you'll carry it off. You're a beautiful girl. People like you. I won't say that exactly. <laughs> well, the ones you're going to meet from now on will. They're probably seeing you what Chris sees. Yeah, well, I hope so. I want him to be proud of me. Well, he already is that. You can tell by the way he looks at you. You've really fallen on your feet here. <laughs> It's not just about money, you know. I do... I do love Chris. Well, of course you do. I mean, I hope you didn't think I was implying otherwise. Look, Charity, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot the other day. I was just trying to be helpful. Yeah, I'm sorry too. It's just people get the wrong idea about me sometimes. Me and Chris were going through a bad patch. You... you just got caught up in it. Well, don't worry about it. Chris is a lucky man. Money or no money? <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Ah. You're starting to wonder whether you'd run off with a family portrait. Well, I might have if there'd been any. It's a beautiful <laughs> house. Yes, it is. And I'm sure it'll be even more beautiful when you move in for good. I shall drink to that. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you've started the champagne already. Uh-oh. Oh, don't worry. Poured you some. There. It's very good. 
And I should know, because I imported it. <laughs> well, thank you, Rodney. <laughs> now, I would imagine that Chris has a few words he'd like to say. Mm. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you both for coming here and sharing in our celebration. And I want you to know that I feel flattered, honoured, that charity has accepted my proposal of marriage. And I'm very fortunate that she's agreed to spend the rest of her life with me. So, I'd like you to, well, all, <laughs> raise your glasses and join me in a toast to charity. 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 Did you manage to get older, Zoe? No. No. No, neither did I. I actually tried to phone her earlier, but a mobile must have been switched off. Well, it's a bit late now, isn't it? I mean, they're all up there subbing champagne and celebrating. Well, she's obviously doing it for money. Oh, well, you can't say that for certain, Betty. She might love him. Pigs might fly. And with Betty, Charity Dingle certainly knows which side her bread is buttered. What a welcome. Yeah. Uh, Zoe, do you mind if I just have a quick word with you for a minute? Yes, OK, but do you mind if I have a drink first? I've been on the road for hours. So you don't know the good news, then? Sorry? Obviously not. Chris and Charity have got engaged. true. Yeah. They're up there celebrating now. Are they? Hey, hey. Leave it, Paddy. She's gonna have to sort this one out on her own. <laughs> 